continental baths tutorial video, or not tutorial, but video, video. So this is the private room area. There's four private rooms. Two in the back are actually private. And of course they have the club baths bed. And they have this, I weathered, weathered this out a little bit and put an ashtray because it's the 70s. So the Continental was where Bette Midler got her start as well as um, I think Barry Manilow um, was a, her pianist. So it's a typical bathhouse. The original had the capacity for a thousand people, which is mind boggling, but this obviously does not because um, that wouldn't make any sense in Second Life, so. The ones out here have these windows, which I've seen in bathhouses. I've seen not windows quite as elaborate as this, but I wanted a retro feel. And it's supposed to be in a really luxurious hotel. It's in the basement of a very luxurious hotel in New York, so that's where it was. Oh, I should show you the lights. There's light switches, which is a new thing for me. <clears throat> Excuse me where you can turn the lights off and on. I know. <laughs> it's kind of silly. Anyway, um, so this is my locker room area for Continental. And I can't imagine it looking anything like this. There are some photos. They were wooden. Oh, phone's bleeping. Um, they were wooden lockers, um, from what I recall seeing in... Um, photos, and uh, um, there's a video called Saturday Night at the Baths as well, which I bought um, years ago, but I watched it while I was building this. It looks nothing like the actual Continental. Um, it was kind of garish a little bit. <laughs> I debated on putting the tile pattern in here, but I liked the blue tiles a little bit better. Um, and of course, the famous pool. In actuality, it was an Olympic-sized pool. Um, in reality, it's obviously not, because that would be the whole build, it would just be a pool, so, um, yeah. So there's stairs to get you in and out, because there's no other way to get in and out of a pool in Second Life, so. Oh, and the wet sauna has on a timer, partially because the particles don't stay within a steam room, because it doesn't really work that way, so. Um, yeah, steamy. And towels to sit on. These are PG. Oh, maybe they're not. <laughs> There's sauna sits. Oh, they're just one person. I remember now. I remember now. Just one person per towel in these. But there are a uh, couple towels in the dry sauna, which we'll go take a look at. There's no towel giver because the towels don't fit anymore. They don't fit mesh bodies, and there's all kinds of copyright infringements around the towels that I see on Marketplace about giving them away for free, so <clears throat> I just stopped putting the towel giver. If you need it, let me know, but um, it only fits plastic um, bodies. So this is the two-person towel, duo towel, and it has um, some sex animations in it um, for couples, so yeah. Oh, now I'm stuck behind the... Stuck behind the thing. There we go. That's fun. Okay. And of course, what would be the Continental without a lounge and a stage? So, there is a stage. It comes with a microphone. Which has a singing animation, which doesn't work without a... Um, singing... Uh, bento head thing, so it's you get the feel of it, and it's kind of fun. The lounge and the piano has the piano animation as well, which I've adjusted for mesh bodies because nothing fits anymore. I'd also like to mention that the gay pride flags are the original eight stripes that were um, the original flag in the 70s. Um, yeah, there's a couple different colors in there. And then there's some detailed stuff in here. There's cigars, and there's beer, and ashtrays, and everything you'd expect to see in a 
lounge in the 70s in the aquarium. I put in the aquarium because there's a famous story about somebody putting LSD in the aquarium and the fish all jumping out. Um, that was in a documentary I watched, so. I thought it had to be here somehow in some regard. And the bongos, because there were bongos. And there's some, this is the hotel that actually existed in. This is an advert. And a couple pictures of the Bent Midler at the Continental in, in reality. So that's it. That's the tour of the Continental. And I hope you enjoyed it.